and you are the gentleman responsible for getting all those gimmicky things into Sherlock, like the text yeah. messaging. Well, you call it gimmicks, I call it style. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, it was like, well, literally, this, uh, Stephen Moffat wrote, wrote the first episode, and basically, it was all about phones. Like everybody was c communicating as we do through phones or looking at phones or information on phones. And I was like, I know what a phone looks like, so I don't want to put, I don't want to be shooting phones the whole time. And so that's why I just decided to put the text on the screen, and that seemed to be a kind of radical departure for people. And you like that fluidity where whoosh, whoosh, you know, yeah, they, they go. Yeah. Uh, and showing on the screen like the Google map and how they're going. So it had a very 21st century feeling to it. Well, I think. I think the the filmmaker, the the, 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 the writers Stephen Moffat and, and Mark Gatiss <coughs> really wanted something. They, they, they said, you know, we want to we want to update Sherlock Holmes because actually when the books were written by Arthur Conan Doyle, they were modern then. So why can't it be modern now? And so, but we still gave the audience the familiarity of of of, twin, of, of Baker Street of, of the house because it's a very London Victorian house, you know. And so we didn't go for the, like, like, he was living in a warehouse with big white screen TVs and stuff like that. You know, we didn't want to go that way. We wanted to still have the familiarity. So yeah. that was the only Victorian element? No, but it's... I mean, the house? Yeah, the house. But we also, like, had the seats where they sat around the fire. And if anyone loves Sherlock Holmes, they, they, they kind of... Because before we actually shot anything, before I shot one frame, I got so much abuse on Twitter. Why are you making this show? Why? Are you, what are you updating it for? What's going on? You know, you're going to ruin it. You're going to ruin the show. And then, of course, it takes them two minutes to watch it, and they know it's been made by people that love, that love the character. And, and so, so you gave the style patina, that stylish patina. Yeah, to Yeah, and there was a lot of style to, to have because it's such a clever character. So you have to be clever as a filmmaker as well. You have to keep up to speed with your character, with your main character. So you have to be incredibly creative and, and inventive because that's what he is as a character. Mm. And so that was easy for me to do. It was easy for me to suddenly go, okay, <clears throat> you know, I want, I want the audience to share what he sees and to, to see the world through his eyes. Mm. And so, you know, we, we shot on, on little cameras, like this one here. And then um, we shot, you know, details of things and just the way he sees things and we just cut it in. Like Did that. you ever use an iPhone to shoot? No, but I thought about it. You I thought, thought about, about it. it. Okay. I thought about it quite a lot to shoot an iPhone. Maybe my next movie will be done, but I know it's been done already. So, Thank you for watching. If you missed any of our shows, you can watch them on our YouTube channel. We'll be back again next week with another episode of our show. Until then, goodbye.